Hey guys, how's it going? This is Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So I'm pretty excited today. I'm going to be showing you how to use coroutines in Unity. I use coroutines a lot, especially when I need to run processes in the background while I'm running the game. So let's actually get into Unity and show you some of the different ways that we can use coroutines and actually destroy those coroutines if we ever need to. All right, guys, so this is a scene that I'm going to be working on to show you how coroutines work. And I want to show you how the scene works right now and what changes we're going to be making. So I'm going to hit play. And if I hit play, the entire scene goes dark. And that's because all the lights in the scene were actually turned off. So I want to change that behavior. And instead of changing, you know, turning them off all at once, I want to turn them off basically every quarter of a second. I'm going to turn a light off on each area. So this is going to be off. This one's going to be off. This one's going to be off and then so on. So let me actually go into Visual Studio and I'm going to show you the setup. So like I said, this was made in the dependency injection video. So if you're curious about how the light manager works, then you can look at that video. Otherwise, you can basically follow along because this is going to apply for every, you know, every kind of game object where you attach a script to. So I'm going to create a new method and I'm going to call it public enumerator. And then this is going to basically be the one that gets all the all the lights and it calls into another method that is responsible for changing the intensity. So on this one, I'm going to just say turn lights off one by one. OK, so in this method, I'm, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get a, a light type variable. It's going to be an array. And this is going to be all my lights. Or we can simply just basically copy that code, which is basically going to do the same thing that this one is doing. It's basically give us all the lights. Once we have the lights, we're going to do a for each. And then we're going to say var for, from each light in lights. And then so what I want to do here is this is an I enumerator. So this is going to be the one that yields the return. So I'm just going to say, I'm going to go back to the body of the method. I'm going to say yield return new wait for seconds. And I want this to be waiting for a quarter of a second. So we're just going to do 0.25 F and for now, just for demonstration purposes, let's just add a debug.log. And we're just going to say turning light off. And then we can just basically add the, the light game object name or the light name. And we'll need to add more implementation. But for demonstration purposes, let's do this first. And then because I'm using kind of a, a I have an interface, so we need to declare that in the interface so that I can call it from other classes. So we have our new method in the light manager. Now I'm going to go into another script that is called test dependency injection. Let me show you where that, how that works. I basically have a manager, and then that manager has that game object script associated with it. So you can do that with any any kind of script. So let's go back into it. And perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to comment out this method because this is the one that is actually turning all the lights off at once. And I have a reference to light manager. So we're just to light manager, turn lights off. But if you notice, this is a I enumerator. So we're going to execute these with a core routine. And this is the syntax that you use to do that. I also mentioned that you can destroy core, core routines. So if you ever wanted to do that, you can do a stop core routine, which basically you have to pass in the reference to the core routine that you executed before. And you also have another one called stop all core routines, just in case you wanted to stop all the core routines in the current scene. You can do you can use those two. For now, I'm just going to use a start core routine, and then we're going to call into our new method. And 
let's go into actually our implementation. So we know that we're going to get executed and then when we get all the lights, we're going to loop through all the lights and we're going to display that message, display the name, and then after a quarter of a second, we'll basically yell a stop and then it'll, go, it'll come back through. So let me show you the behavior. So I'm going to clear the log and I'm going to hit play. And I want you to pay attention to the console. And you can see that every you know a quarter of a second you're gonna see that message is playing. It looks like we have multiple spotlights as well. They're getting aggregated. And it looks like that's working. It's running in the background, so that's perfect. So now let's actually get the code to turn each light off. So what we're going to do is we can leave that message in. So I'm going to I'm going to create a a new method and we're going to be doing something very similar to what we're doing here. And so in this one is going to be called void, private void and we're going to call it turn light off. And then we'll take in a light and then we'll take that light variable and then basically we're just going to say light that enable and then we're going to just say false. So now instead of doing just uh, debug that log entry, we're going to do a turn light off and then we'll pass in the light that we have from the loop iteration. So now if we go back and we hit play, We give it a second, and uh, almost there. Okay, perfect. So you'll see that each section, each light's getting turned off. That lamp got turned off. That one as well, and that section as well, and also the car lights. Perfect. So it looks like that part is working. So just to kind of give you, just reiterate, we created a, a enumerator type and just to make sure that you know, you have to include system that collections once you use an a enumerator. And then we added a new method called turn lights off one by one. We're getting all the lights from the lights game object. And then we're looping through each light and turning that light off. We're waiting, we're using a, a core routine with a, with a, an a enumerator, and then we're waiting a quarter of a second for each iteration. And then once we loop through, we're calling the turn lights off where we can just basically turn the lights off. So if we go back to the test dependency injection, and I'm basically using the star core routine method provided by Unity, which is part of the mono behavior game object. So, and then when that gets executed, we pass in the method that we want to execute as a code routine. So that's everything for this video, guys. If you have any questions, let me know through the comments. And also don't forget to share and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you, guys.